If you've watched many of my videos, you know that I like to keep my costs low so I can spend my money on things like shoes and lenses. And you probably also have noticed that I take a ton of self-portraits. Uh, when I do that, I usually use my interval timer and I'm running back and forth between the camera and the set and I'm trying to figure out what camera settings that I need to have for my effect that I'm going for and what, how to make myself look good and it's a big pain. So I have been uh, wanting to purchase some camera control software. However, the Nikon Camera Control Pro 2 is kind of pricey. So I was looking around for a cheaper option and I found DIYphotobits.com. It's totally free and it works. So I downloaded it onto my laptop, which is sitting right beside me. And uh, what you do is you just plug in your camera um, with a USB cable and then turn on your camera, load the software. It should uh, just recognize your camera right away and it, it recognizes mine, it says D300S right there. Uh, it takes a lot of um, Canon and Nikon cameras. But if for some reason yours doesn't get recognized, there's a, a list that you can choose from. What else you can do is choose uh, the output folder for where your photos are going to go and you can control a lot of your camera's con um, options like your exposure mode and your aperture and your ISO, your exposure compensation, your white balance. It even gives you your battery status. Um, so that's kind of nice. And then really the main reason that I was using the, the software, looking for the software was for this preview. Uh, you can choose what size you want your preview photo it goes all the way from, you know, tiny to 100%. I don't know, let's put it on 50% so we can see what that looks like. And going down, you can also control um, time lapse or the interval timer on your camera. You can control the frequency, the um, shots that are taken each time, and how many total shots to take, and if you want the uh, software to delay before you take any photos. Uh, you can also control bracketing and there's some uh, post-processing um, commands that you can do as well in the software. So I think that it's pretty awesome and I have had nothing but luck with it. So let me demo the software for you by taking a photo of Veronica. And there she is. I guess 50% is kind of big because now I'm having to go around and look for her in my in my uh, screen but let's try a smaller number like 20 percent there we go that's perfect so that's probably what i would be using when i was in the studio taking self-portraits is i don't know around there because it's the right size for my monitor um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Again, this software is totally free and it's on DIYphotobits.com.